But I think if you really, um, if you really want to kind of look after assistants and look after young people, it starts with you. It starts with you giving them a lot of time, a lot of care, and all of your knowledge that you can share with them. You know, because of course, if you start to give, you know, like almost no care for someone, why would they care back for you? They won't. Everything starts with you, right? There's no such thing as a bad student. It's just everything is due to a bad teacher. Can you please share with us who inspired you through your career? And what was important of choosing a mentor at that moment? So, who inspired me? Wow. Who has inspired me throughout my career? I mean, this is a very, very difficult question to answer. You know why? Because you don't want to miss out on one. You know, that's why, because you don't want to kind of upset anybody in that. But I have been extremely fortunate throughout my career to work with some really, really incredible people in different stages as well of my evolution. But uh, to start with, I would say that my biggest inspiration of all has been my mom. Because uh, my mom was a little bit like a Cinderella story, you know. She started with nothing, she's never had a chance to meet uh, her dad. She was educated by her mom with her five other brother and sister. And uh, with very, very little, she achieved amazing. At some point, uh, she had three salon running. Uh, in the south of France, she had a team of like 30 people or something like that. So it, it's, it, was really, it was really amazing to kind of be educated by her, even though she didn't have much time for me as a child because I was educated by my mom, my, my grandma. But you know, it was really amazing to kind of uh, see her and how hard she was working for us. So when I started to understand a little bit more about life and become a hairdresser, I spent a lot of time with her and uh, she's been inspiring me every single day. Even now, things that she's done for me and with the Brexit, I'm going to say you can see Brexit as well, yeah. But the Brexit and the uh, COVID-19 situation and my return to France, if it wasn't for her, I would not be where I am today. But, you know, loving and caring person, tremendously amazing at hairdressing and with a fantastic business sense. So this has been really the um, the quality that she was really trying, uh, I was really trying to look up to her. Um, I'm never going to reach her level because I think she's just beyond this world on that. But my mom was a tremendous uh, influence uh, on my career. Then I met Tony, which I talked before, Mr. Tony Mayer, who had a degree in Cannes. He was just an amazing person just to kind of be with. He had this kind of aura, he had this kind of um, personality that when he was in one room, you know, you, you feel warm, you know, you, you feel safe, you know, and that was something really, truly amazing with him. That takes me as well to another person that I met like that was Mr. Stacy Volta, who was one of the art directors back in the day when I used to work in Sassoon. And I always tell that story to a lot of people about, you know, with someone like Stacy, what was truly, truly inspirational with him was not only the fact that he was totally bonkers and amazing at what he was doing with hair, but what I remember the most with him was in the early days when I used to work in the city, uh, like the banking district in the salon, if he would turn up, you know, just to visit the place or if he was in the area, he would enter and, you know, super busy salon, everybody's on their client, super concentrated, super focused and that, everybody doing their own thing. And suddenly, like, he would enter, he would go from stylist to stylist, telling a little joke, you know, spend a couple of minutes with them, doing his thing, and then after 10, 15 minutes, when he leaves the salon, suddenly you look around and everybody was smiling. It was just like, it was almost like it could change radically uh, a space, you know, and I felt that it was, it was amazing. It's someone that I really, really, truly uh, look up to during my career when I was in Sassoon as well, because he was, uh, he was a great human being and a fantastic hairdresser. You know, after, of course, uh, Tim, Tim, Tim Hartley has been amazing because what he has done for me changed my life. Um, 
my first ever show after I was in the studio for, I don't know, maybe three or four months. Uh, it took me to Paris to do my first show uh, with Annie on Friends, which was, I mean, you know, for me it was almost like I was with the two dinosaurs. Uh, when I say dinosaurs, I don't mean ancient, but I mean like, you know, like the, uh, for me they were just the greatest, you know, the greatest of all time in, in, you know, in that company and that was just like being on stage with them. You know, even now I still want to kind of like wake up and think like, oh, was it a dream or not? You know, but Tim was just phenomenal because um, just the way that he acknowledged my mom as well, how he's been really uh, caring, you know, and, and he was just fantastic. You know, Tim is the kind of individual that um, if you were just walking in a busy Oxford Street, that place is packed with people and that, and if he's on the opposite opposite of the street and he sees you from far away, he will start to scream, hey, Jamie, and he will just cross the road to give you a big hug, you know, and I think that, you know, what's very interesting with leaders is leaders have learned to say the right things, so they sound good, do you see what I mean? So if there is some form of interview or something like that, you know, they, they all say the same kind of like stories and they explain this and this and that to make them feel like they're kind of warm-hearted people but in reality they're not like that, right? They're very selfless and selfish. But someone like Tim was totally different, you know, I think he taught all of us that we were really truly about caring and this was the amazing thing that I remember from him was the fact that like, you know, it was all about sharing. So it was, uh, it, it was brilliant, I mean, Tim Arthur was Someone really, really fantastic. Then after people who have inspired me also, but I haven't had the chance to work with, um, I always take, you know, um, the amazing Julian Dees. I mean, Julian Dees for me, uh, I, I don't know him as a person, you know, so could be nice, could be not, I don't know. Hopefully one day I'll get the chance to meet him in real life. But I think his work has probably been the work that I've been the most inspired with, you know. Uh, he's, been doing editorial work way before anybody today. I know that all the big editorial hairdressers today uh, learn from him, you know, copied him of some sort. But for me, it was the first time that I was looking at someone that was a real artist with hair. You know, he was creating, he was moving, he was burning, he was adding texture to it, and you know, I, I just felt that really, really, truly inspirational. And it was him. And what he was doing, that at some point, I remember, um, and that was 2018, when we did a big show for Goldwell Global Zoom in Toronto, where I was started to say, okay, I've learned precision cutting the British way, but I come from a place where you know and you learn how to manipulate hair. So I was like, you know, this is probably what the direction you should take until now. That's why I put this doll head here because you know you can see precision cutting on it but you can see some form of styling, a little bit of editorial twist. So I think you know Julian this for that has really really kind of like opened my eyes uh, to kind of see how and where I could take my hairdressing today. You know and of course after I can name so many because there, there is tons and tons of incredible educators, sound stylists, you know, uh, that are doing tremendously well. And the beauty of it today is uh, not as a person, an individual, but as a platform, you can see everyone on social media. And I think, uh, you know, spending time on doing the social media for the brand, you always check and see what other people are doing. And, you know, the world is, the world is truly inspirational all around the world, you know, so yes, it's mega, mega important to be inspired and to basically reach for ideas, reach to develop yourself, because you never ought to be again, you know, you always have something to push forward, always, 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 and as a lot of people always say, you are only as good as your last work, right, so it's not to reminisce about the past, but it's about moving on to where you want to be. To finish this interview, what would you tell that John Apprentice today? So, what would I say to young JB? Oh. Well, you know, I think that, and I really believe actually, that we are, as an individual, a mathematical equation. 
you know, we never just happen to be who we are today by ourselves. It's just not possible. Nobody is. So sometimes you talk to people and you believe that they are God's gift and they're like, oh my God, oh, they must have been born so lucky. And I'm, there's not such things, you know. We are a mathematical equation or result of other people or people that we've met and who inspired us in our life, right? So what I would say to my young self is that um, everything that happened to me was there for a reason. So, you know, enjoy the ride. I think this is the most important thing. Often we tend to sometimes when we have a hurdle or something difficult to happen, we tend to kind of get overwhelmed but those moments are extremely important for your world, right? Because yes, we tend to always go back and think of the amazing people or mentors that we have. And uh, they were uh, an amazing, I would say, uh, end of who we are today. But you know, the actual person that were not so great that we have met through our lives, and I've met few or many of them, um, they were as essential of who I am today because sometimes we get better lesson of looking at someone that will teach you how not to hack with someone like that, how not to treat someone like that, how not to behave with someone like that. So some negative people that you have met in your life, you know, are so, so, so important to your growth because if you are a little bit sharp, and this is important to try to be in the moment all the time, you kind of look at those type of person and you think, hmm, you know what? This is a very good way to see this, to experience this, because I'm not going to treat people like this. You know, do not treat people the way you don't want to be treated. It's as easy as that. So I'd say to my young self, take as much care and um, and really uh, awareness of people that amazes you, that people that you find more difficult to deal with, because you get the best lesson from those real people. And this is how you end up becoming this mathematical result because you pinch things from people that have inspired you or that kind of like almost scared you as well. So yeah, so I think I'd say to my young self, just go through it buddy, enjoy yourself, you know, uh, life is just such an amazing thing. And, you know, I'm only 42 years old today. I've got a young daughter now, I'm nine, nine months old and uh, well, amigo, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And I'm sure all the viewers appreciate it too. Is there anything that you would like to add to finish this interview? So, um, thank you so much, Eddie. It's very, very kind of you to, uh, to have invited me uh, to this interview. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, you know, you're very lucky to be in Canada. Canada, for me, if I have to think of all the countries that I've had the chance to visit uh, with work or with holidays, it's one of the three countries I would have actually moved there and leave, like, in an instant. Because I love the people, I love the space that you guys have, the diversity as well of the country, the openness of the country. And in terms of work, in terms of hairdressing, I think the, the craft there is so, so, so high end. I mean, there is an incredible, incredible hairdresser in Canada. You know, I'm just gonna name a few, you know, I'm always thinking of Norm. Um, Norm is a great, 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 uh, he's a fantastic colorist, but he also is very renowned for what he does with Afro hair. He worked for a company called Taz, uh, which Frank and Daniel is his business partner, but you know, amazing people, you know, and Norm is like, I'm looking at his work always and I'm like, wow, you know, really, really amazing. Uh, you've got Anna Pacito as well, that's always found a fantastic hairdresser, a great business owner, and what she's done at Chief is it's really amazing. You've got Antonio Quinn, which Quintero is a uh, very, very good hairdresser, doing some amazing cutting education. You know, we had the chance to do a live with which was that was back in the day when it was possible for all of us to be gathering as a massive group in one place 
uh, organized by a very dear friend, Andre, which is actually Norm's brother. And we ended up doing a, um, I don't know, it was maybe about four or five hundred people in the um, Mizutani Academy that they have just outside Toronto and Mississauga. And it was so great, you know, the atmosphere and everything. So what I'd like to say to all the viewers that uh, probably are from Canada and from all the network, really, that uh, you are in a fantastic place with just fantastic people. And I can't wait to come back with you very soon. So thank you very much. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the interview. If you do have any questions, please, uh, you know, contact me directly on our social media. We've got also Precision Cutting for Everyone, which is a new online education where we will launch um, new video content all the time. So, you know, we we'll try to keep the energy going with what's happening now with COVID. I know it's a difficult time, but you know what? Like every tunnel, there is a light at the end. So, we'll get there very soon. Take care, guys. Big love. Thank you so much for your time. This is on here. See you next time.